First, to simplify, it's not necessary to know what x is. Also, simplifying is not going to tell you what x is. It's impossible to know what x is because we don't know that this is supposed to come out to be like any number, like 5. If we knew that, then we can figure out what x is. But for now, the way it looks, what could x be? Uh, uh, x. Yeah, any number can be plugged in for x. Now, again, it does not mean. Hunter, turn your body this way, please. Thank you. Ridiculous request. Um, we do not need to put anything in for x either. To simplify, we're just going to make this expression simpler. To explain that, or simplify it, and I'll, I'll, then I'll show you what that means, why it's called simpler. Okay, Hunter? How does that break your time to go <laughs> You're always welcome to use the bathroom. The procedure for that is to take out your agenda without hold it in the air. You still need a pass to be in the hallway. Okay, so let me just throw this out there. Let's say I put the 10x, right? I take this 3x and put it next to there and have minus 20, minus 1. Okay, now as we as we move forward and we mature and we advance and, and we get better at simplifying these expressions, you're not going to have to physically write this down. Right? But because this is true, it allows us to simplify. Cool? I'm confused how you got 21. Okay. Fair enough question. You think it should be like minus 19 or something? Yeah. So the first thing to understand is that this, this negative sign, it like, in essence, it belongs to the 20. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's simplify this a bit. Let's use like a simple little example using just some numbers. All right. So I'll write this, but instead of using 10x and 3x, I'll just throw some random numbers in there. Okay. okay. So let's imagine I had. Uh, 70 minus 20, the 20 will stay the same, plus 14 minus 1. So I just traded these out for some random numbers, okay? But the minus 20 and the minus 1 are the same. Imagine what this is telling us we're supposed to do, okay? Just addition and subtraction. Here we are on this thing. What's this called? Number line. Number line. Okay? So we start out at 70, okay? We are here at 70. And let's say that this is zero. Started at 70. Now we're supposed to do what? Minus 20. Minus 20. What does that mean on the number line that you're supposed go to do? Go left. Go left 20. Okay. So we go left 20, and now we're at 50. Okay. And then move forward 14, which would put us in here, right? So it'd be 64. I'm going to put this around 64 there. And then we move back one, and we're at 63. Okay. So all in all, after we've done a move left and right and all that stuff, we're at 63. Agreed? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but what if I started by like taking, like going back negative 20? Why just start at zero? Went back negative 20, right? Everybody on board? Went back 20, and let's say I went back one. So essentially, this is what I've done so far. Can I go back 20 and back one yeah. first? Where are we? At 21. Back 20, negative back one, negative 21. So now I'm at negative 21. Then can I go 70 to the right and then 14 to the right? Or I can add 70, 14 and go right that much, right? Which is adding 70 and 14 is going to the right 70 and going to the right 14, like we're seeing how much of a move that is. Okay. So the thing I'm trying to say is, hopefully it's going to clear up, why is this negative 21? Because it's the number negative 20 
or like the instructions to move back 20 to the left 20 and then move to the left one more. Okay, I get Which would that. be a total move of back 21. I get that. Okay. <coughs> right. Now what about just putting the 10x and the 3x together and the negative 20 and the minus 1 together, just like moving things around. Is that all right? Yes. You allowed to do that? What? Okay. Yeah. Bam. As long as that negative, as long as that negative stays with a 20 because like part of the original instructions in this expression were at some point to on the number line, move left 20. So at some point I have to move left 20. Right? That needs to happen. So by making that negative sign follow the 20 around, I make sure that moving to the left 20 on the number line happens at some point. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? So you can do it in any order as long as it does happen, as long as we do move to the left 20 and we do move to the left 1. Okay? We don't want to move to the left 10x, right? We don't want the negative to be part of 10x. We don't want 3x to be negative because that's not how it started. That's not what the expression was when it was given. Andre? Okay, so now that I know that you can like move the thing is around, mm -hmm. how are you going to move? Uh, yeah. You don't have to just turn it in, in the late box. Give me a pen. And then I collect it, and I'll change the grade. The so those three boxes back there, those three black trays. When you turn something in, how much of that comes from the grade? It doesn't do like anything if you did all the work. Okay? Where's that? Where's what? Acronym. Keep concentrating on this. Okay. Now, again, like I said, we're not going to have to move these next to each other every time because eventually we'll see, like, well, this is, like, air quotes here, move to the right 10x and later move to the right 3x. Right? So that'd be the same as moving to the right 13x. Does that make sense? It's almost an analogy, right? But, See it as moving on the number line this much. I don't know how much an X is, but if I ever did find out, moving to the right 10 of those and moving to the right 3 of those would be the same as moving to the right 13 of those. Or this is 10 of X's, and this is 3 also of X's. These are the same thing. It's like apples and apples. Okay. This is 10 X's. I'm going to ask you to leave the room. You can't stop being distracted. You're getting up and walking around is a distraction. I can't find my paper. Okay, we'll just wear it up later. Okay. Uh, so this is 10 x's. By that I mean it's an x plus another x plus another x plus another x plus another x and so on and so on. So we have 10 x's all together added together. Not x's multiplied together, not divided by each other, but added together. Just like three times four is four plus four plus four. Or three plus three plus three plus three. So 10 times x means x added to itself 10 times. Here's x added to itself three times. Okay. And when I take these 10 x's and I add them to these three x's, I have what all together? 13 x's. Exactly, 13 x's. I think I'm making too much of a point of this, but if you really are on board with this and you're not just like in one ear out the other, okay, then you won't make a mistake like, okay, this is this is correct. But I don't want to make the mistake of saying that this is negative uh, 13, uh, negative 13, negative 8x or negative 8. Well, I mean, negative 8x doesn't make any sense. I don't know that negative 7 makes any more sense than that. Like 13 minus 21 is negative 8. Okay. But this doesn't make any sense. This, this move from here to there, it doesn't make any sense. Like saying apples and oranges. All right? So let's back up. Let's use a, maybe another one as an example. Right. 
And so far, all we'll do, we're doing, say, 10x, another 3x is 13x, 13 of those x's, right? Negative 20 minus another one is the same as subtracting 21 altogether. Okay? So far, so good? Yes. Yes? All right. Yes. All right. Let's look at this one. All right. I have negative 3x's. And now down here, I have another 8x's. I'll just kind of put those together. Plus 9, minus 5. Again, I could kind of do this in my head. No, I can actually write it down. I could just say uh, negative 3 x's plus 8 x's is how many x's? Uh, it's 5. Uh, A positive 5 x's. <coughs> and uh, a 9 minus 5. Four. It's a positive four, not a negative four, so add four. Good. Alright, now we can use this as a little bit better of a way to see why this is not 9x. Right? It's apples and oranges. Two different things are trying to put together and make it to one thing which they're not. Okay? This is five x's. It's x plus x plus x, there you go, plus x plus x. Five, five x is added together, that's what five times x means. Okay? Multiplication is just repeated addition, just add something up that many times. Okay? This is four. What, the, what is this four of? It's even more like specific and exact than saying x is, right? It's an actual like, specific thing. Yeah. Isn't it plus one? Yeah. What are we adding up to get four? The number four? A bunch of ones. Okay? So we have here four things. Those things are all ones. Okay? Again, if it's not in one ear or out the other right now, you'll make fewer mistakes. We have five of this kind of thing, we have four of this kind of thing. If we're trying to add them together, we do have like I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine like alphanumeric characters, but they're not all x's, they're not all ones, so there's not nine of anything, not nine of any one thing like this is saying. This is saying we have nine of these x's. We don't, we have five of these x's. These are not x's. So we don't collect them together and say that there are nine of them. Okay, you're right, yeah. all right. Five x's, four ones, is not nine x's, it's five x's and four ones, and we just kind of hit a dead end until we know what x is and can plug it in, multiply it by five, and then add the four. You just can't simplify it anymore. Make sense? Hunter? Can you move the thing, the big paper thing? Okay, so now this might have looked kind of like a lot, but it's just more terms to put together. Let's, let's see if we can advance past writing this step down. If you want to write it down, then great, but I'm just going to skip the part where I put them all next to each other, and I just realized that I have so many of X's, so many more of X's, I have some more over here. X's over here, I'm going to collect them all together. All right, so I got negative 13X, negative 8X's, and I have positive 13x's. Okay. There's a pretty quick way I can figure out the total number of x's that I have. Can you see? Eight. Who says negative eight x? Why do you just jump to negative eight x so quickly without like having to do a bunch of? Because I in my head, I just took the x's out and added them all together, uh -huh. and then I. Just did it in my head. Okay. That would definitely work. I mean, we'll take the negative 13 x's, minus 8 more x's, we're at negative 21 x, and then we add 13, we're back to negative 8 x. Or, well, here's subtract 13 x's, here's add 13 x's. What happens zero. with those? Zero. Zero. Yeah, they, just, they total this to nothing. If I subtract something, then I add it back, I've done nothing. So these two could cancel each other out, be like that 
in math, that term canceling each other out. So we're just left with negative eight x's. Right, so we just skip that part where we write them next to each other, and we just say, well, let's just figure out how many we have, and report back how many we have, negative eight x. Now let's look at the ones. There's five ones. There's 12 ones, there's negative two ones. And we just figure out how many ones we have. Oh, there's a five? Five plus 12 is 17. That five, some people missed that five. So it'd be negative seven. It'd be 15, it'd be 15. It'd be 17 minus two. Plus 12, that'd be 17. Minus two would be 15. 15. I like the, I see 12 minus two, I just like to go straight to 10. 12 minus two is 10, and then add by 15. But we all got 15. I didn't, because I got it, but. Hopefully now we all agree that it should be 15. We agree that it should be 15, Hunter. Can you actually solve any of those? No. Because solve means to figure out what x is. Yeah. There's no way to know what x has to be. I can find x. Tell, tell me what x is and tell me why you know that it's that's what x should be. X is x. Okay. That's that's x true. Is x, x is x. Well, if you write x equals plus. anything, then it can make sense. It's all x minus one. It, but that's me saying this is what x is, and I'm just inventing it. And if I were to tell you what x is, what kind of, what number could I put here? One through infinity. Negative infinity through positive infinity. Yeah. Yeah, I can put a negative number there. I can put a positive number there. Pi, e, square root of negative two. I can put anything I want there. So x is, in this case, unknowable. There's no way to know what x has to be, because x doesn't have to be any one number. And since solving, since solving means figuring out what x is, and that's impossible, it can't be solved. But as soon as I tell you this equals pretty much anything, it can equal 5. It can equal 5 minus 7x. 5 minus 7x plus 12. Okay. Once I know that it's supposed to equal something else, I could figure it out, but it does not. So I can't. We're going to leave this one because it was kind of a test to see. I got that one. I got that one. Do, we, do we know that or not? Okay. We'll work up to it. If you got it, great. If not, we're working up to it pretty soon. Okay. So aside from that one, any questions about any of that? Simplifying sounds like it was a little more simple than you thought it was. Well, it is. Yeah. Simplifying is pretty simple. All right, so I want you to take out the homework that I passed back. All right, uh, and I'm going to give you what each of those should look like when it's simplified. That was the homework to simplify each of these. Not plugging in this x, we don't know what x is, we're just simplifying the expression itself. So we have 7x minus an x. So this one is just one that came up quite a few times. So we have, well, let's talk about multiplication. 3 times 4 is just 4 plus 4 plus 4. We just have like literally three fours added together. So 7x which means 7 times x means that we have 7x's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 x's. If we have 7x minus an x, well, we have 7 x's. We're going to take an x away. We're left with 6 x's. Of course, you don't see me circle that from white. 6 x's is what I have left. So in each of these, come through and we just what is often called collect like terms, right? X terms are like each other. Number terms without any variables on them, they're like each other. X squareds, if there were any x squareds, which there aren't here, if there were, we would put those together. If there are any y's, we'll put the y's together, put the z's together, right? The positives and the negatives together. Some positive x's left, some negative x's left, some positive z's left, or some negative z's left over. What do we have when we put it all together? Okay. And we have done pretty well on time today. 
you have gone through, the first thing we did with this sheet is you took 9 and you plugged it in for x. Well, sorry, you plugged 9 in for these x's, put 3 in for these x's, 2 for these, and so on and so on. Okay. Now you've simplified them. I want you to go through. The so homework for next time will be to have taken that, that same number that you plugged in, like 9 for this case, plug 9 in here. Okay. Plug 3 in here. Now you plugged it into this. This long version, you simplified it, now plug 3 in there, plug in 2 there, plug in negative 4 there, right? Now make sure it's all simplified correctly. You've got the correct simplifications there, right? Uh, once they're correct, we go ahead and plug in those same numbers, and you know, we have about five minutes. You could get this done in five minutes and just be done. Turn your homework next time, okay? So that's it, go ahead just to, to help you confirm.